Today we're going to take a walk on the coolest street in Ubita and see it in a way that most people, most visitors don't get to see it. That's what we're doing on this episode of Costa Rica's Story. So for me, making this video was kind of a two-step process. Step one, I drove my bike up the street and filmed the whole street. And step two was I went from business to business and I, I just did a really quick interior shots of a few of the different businesses there. And I didn't have an awful lot of time for each business because if I spent a lot of time in there, it would have took me two weeks and this video would be two hours long. So it's kind of a, a preview of, of the area. And if you see any places here that you'd like to see in more detail, let me know in your comments down below and maybe we can do like a, a bigger, longer video of a specific place because they're all great. Each one is a video in its own potentially. So let me know. And as usual, the journey starts here at the Uvita Information Center. We'll take you on a tour of Calle Uvita, sometimes called on maps. The Uvita Information Center is a very well-known landmark here in Uvita. And as you can see on the right, there are a lot of tables and chairs for the passengers that get off the buses here. As we see a Tacropia bus coming in. And up ahead is Route 34, and the right will take you to Ocachel, Golfito, and eventually Panama. And to the left, it goes north to Dominical and San Jose. And Route 34 can be kind of tricky to cross during high season, but We'll do our best. And there ahead we've got Blooms, which is a garden center. Mong, which is for the large appliances. And there's a paint store there. And there's Supermercado Pacifico, which is a grocery store. And you'll notice in this row of trees here on the right, that that's the best place to pick up a taxi because the taxi drivers sit there waiting for fares. For the first six months I lived here, I thought Gallo was a chicken place like Kentucky Fried Chicken. But no, they sell appliances, both large and small. And here you can find everything from ovens, to dryers, to washers, to blenders, TVs, dehumidifiers, they've got a lot of appliances here. They even sell motorcycle helmets and car batteries. And outside the store, they've got some bicycles for sale. And there's even some scooters there. To the right here, you see the BCR bank. And to the far right is where the ATM is. The next store is El Mago Fiorte, and I really like this store because they have a lot of really cool things in here at, at reasonable prices. It's kind of an interesting mix of products here. It's definitely worth, worth the visit. Everything from office supplies to clothes and shampoos and lotions, seasonal items. An interesting store, 
some decent prices. I actually got a decent shirt in here for two mil. To the right of that store is Dr. Vargas's office, which is on the second floor. Follow a set of two ramps up to the top. One thing I like about this place is that there's a lot of cool murals on the walls. We head down the hall here and hang a left. And we'll see Dr. Vargas's office right here between the sea turtle and the octopus. Dr. Vargas is known for the place where you can go get your COVID test. She's also a great doctor. There's also a tattoo parlor up here on the second floor. We continue back down the same way we came, and Dr. Vargas's office is on the left up here. And as we look out over the street, to the right is the BCR Bank, and then there's, to the left of that is the Royal Palm. Royal Palm Interiors, and that's a furniture store. And they sell a lot of really nice furniture there, and they sell a lot of accessories and things. But I have to admit, what I like most about it is they have really great air conditioning in here. Very nice homey feeling. The man on the left serving up some copos. And our next stop is Kathy's American Boutique. And she has a wide variety of clothes here in a lot of different sizes. One of the cool things too is going out by the window, there's a great view of the street up here. They even have some handbags. And on the first floor of the same building is Don Israel, which is a convenience store. As we continue on down the road, you see a big tree in the middle of the road down here, and that's a mango tree. In April and May, that thing is loaded. And you can see people throwing rocks and sticks trying to get the mangoes down, and there'll be all kinds of mangoes that get crushed in the road. And on this part of the road, the sidewalk is on the left. And on the right, we've got an Italian restaurant. Restaurante por el camino. And what I like about this place most is they've got an outdoor pizza oven. And to the left is Soda Ranchito Dona Maria. 
And if you want true Costa Rican cuisine, this is the place you need to go. They've got regular seating and they've also got seating along the stream. And in the green season, it's really beautiful here. Of course, the food is fantastic. Next up is the Toucan Hotel. They have their own restaurant, Symbiosa. As we continue on down the road, to the right you'll find a fruit and vegetable store that can't be beat. It's the best place to buy bananas. And right next to that is a barbershop, Catches. Next up, on the right, there's a butcher shop. And there's a household appliance parts store. And I think there's also a repair shop in the back there. You see this S shape on the side of the road here? That's kind of a really nasty pothole. Make sure you uh, keep your tires out of that. And coming up on the left is the Uvita print shop. And that's a place you can go and recharge your mobile phone as well. To the right of that is a mom and pop shop that sells backpacks and shoes and various other things. Up next, there's a panaderia. And I one thing I like about this place is it opens up really early in the morning and they've got great coffee and excellent pastries. And after that, we've got a convenience store for all your convenience needs. And on the right, there's a new soda that just came into town a couple of months ago. Soda Machito. I haven't actually been in there to eat yet, but I've been by there a few times and it smells absolutely fantastic. We have a pet food store, followed by a motorcycle parts shop. Another thing to keep in mind here is this street has quite a few uh, speed bumps, so here's one right now. And on the left is Los Lorelis. Los Lorelis is a restaurant, and they also have cabinas for rent. It's a restaurant with a great vibe. It's one of the highest rated restaurants in all of Costa Rica. Sometimes even have entertainment there. Next up on the left is the Whale Tail Brewery. And they brew right there on site. And one of the cool things about this place is the cat mural on the wall. It's just fabulous. And they also have music. One thing you may not know about this place is sometimes they have a really, really good pizza. Next up is Tagua Cafe Vivo. They recently remodeled this place and it's just really, really cool. It's just a cool place to hang out. 
Nice chill vibe. Excellent coffee. That's my Cafe Frio with uh, Agua de Pipa. But they've got a really nice place to hang out by the stream out back. It's just a really great vibe. So next up on the left is Sunset Body Works. And if you need a massage in Uvita, this is your place to go. Of course there's another speed bump, because there's a school in the neighborhood there. Next up is Mosaic, and they're best known for their sushi and their wine bar, but they also serve beer and a lot of other different kinds of food. They do have a refrigerated wine section, and it's really nice on a hot day especially just to walk into that cooler and, and check out their multitude of wines. It's just kind of a fun place to go, and what I like best about the place is the guys are so much fun very welcoming. And again another speed bump. And note the cemetery to the right that's sometimes used as a landmark when somebody's giving directions. And this is where the pavement turns to sand as they say. And here's the box training center to the right, a personal trainer. And our last stop here, save the best for last, Indomitos. Now, Indomitos is known as a vegan vegetarian place, but their food is beyond that. And this is definitely one of my favorite restaurants in the world. And it's got a really great vibe in this place as well. And this mural on the wall has kind of become famous. A lot of people like to do photos in front of it. I've got a few of myself. Excellent staff, they've got an excellent menu. My favorite meal there is a la tica, which is their own take on the typical Costa Rican breakfast. So we zoom in on the map to Central America Uvita. And there is the Uvita Information Center. And from the Uvita Information Center, we take a left. Then we take our next right, and we're on Keje Uvita. Now if we take a right here, we go to the bamboo forest. Take a left, takes you to the Uvita waterfall and the Bihuko Road. So now we'll cut the music and do a quick ride into town. Kids, don't try this at home.
That's all I've got for this edition of Costa Rica Story. Make sure you subscribe if you want to and like if you liked it. But most importantly, put those comments down below because I really want to hear what you've got to say. Hasta luego.